Hello everyone, welcome back. We have a new deep dive trailer for Starfield Shattered Space. I leave the link down below in case you want to watch it with all my stupid ass commentaries. Otherwise, let's watch it. Let's watch it together. Hey everyone, thanks for joining us today. It's been an incredible journey since Starfield launched last year. I want to thank all of you for making it the biggest launch in Bethesda Game Studios history. Your continued support and feedback drive us to making Starfield the best experience possible. Since launch, we've added new features, technical enhancements, fresh content, and the newly released Rev-8, Starfield's first ever land vehicle. Now we're expanding Starfield's galaxy with a brand new, completely handcrafted world and deep new storyline. Oh yeah, they already talked about that. We know this is going to be a custom planet. None of that duplicate generated POI type of thing, but everything happening in one location. So I'm excited about that. All right, let's, let's keep on watching. This September, we're launching Starfield's first major expansion, Shattered Space. Today, we're giving you the first look at the mysterious homeworld of House Faru. So let's dive in and explore. The fate of our house was written among the stars. The great serpent tells us there is nothing to fear. Do not. At least, not for those who walk the path. You will rise as Varun. Sounds like we become Varun or something? Ah, a lot of horror elements. We love Starfield's massive open galaxy, but from early on in our planning, we knew we wanted to introduce a more secluded and handcrafted location, similar to what you've seen from our past expansions. There's so much mystery to House Faroon, and because they've so thoroughly isolated themselves, it made them the perfect faction to explore in a completely self-contained experience. And so you arise, one of the promised of House Faroon. From the minute you arrive on Varun Kai, the story never sends you off planet. You're free to leave at any mm. time, but the story is fully centered around life on the Varun homeworld. Everything you discover, every location you visit, every side mission you seek out, it all tells the story of what happened here and how the Varun people have survived, cut off from the comforts of the settled systems and the rest of humanity. All right, that is very different from what we've been getting right now, where every mission, faction, or whatever, we've been just going from one place to another. This is completely different. We're staying in one specific location. I'm excited. All right, let's keep on going. Vindicator. Harbinger. Reverend. One of our main themes throughout the base game is humanity's search for knowledge. Shattered Space is still about that search, but it's also about what happens when it goes too far. It's a very extreme pursuit, and it has backfired horribly for the people of House Faroon. My brother Kwasim has been missing for days. I'm beginning to worry that something terrible has happened to him. Damn. Alright, this is gonna be scary. Yeah. Something's gonna jump out of somewhere. Before the start of Shattered Space, a secret experiment involving grav drive technology went terribly wrong. It resulted in a massive tear in the fabric of space-time that swallowed a significant portion of the Varun capital of Dazra. You arrived just a few 
few weeks after the Vortex incident. It's still very fresh in everyone's minds. There's a massive crater in their city. Nothing has been reconstructed. People are still searching for missing loved ones. Supplies are limited. There is so much work to be done. The scaled citadel, the seat of power for the Varun government, is now trapped within a strange field of energy. Among those missing is Anasco Varun, leader of the Varun people and speaker for the Great Serpent. In his absence, the minor houses that make up House Varun are all vying for control over the faction's future. The Zealots were once a part of Varun society. They want to continue the Serpent's crusade. They'll demand an inordinate amount of credits or firearms. Worst case, a seat at the High Council or even the reinstatement of their house. Oh, so this happens like recently and we go there because of something happened. And there are good people too. I, you know, up until this point, I always thought that Varun is like everybody there is probably just bad. And we're just going to go there and just like shoot them all. So it looks like that's, that's not the case. So we're gonna do some shooting, of course, yeah. Kai and Dazer City are like no other location in the base game. From its inception, House Varun has been driven by a singular, unique vision. Because of this, Varun Kai has a completely distinct visual identity. We say it's very alien. You'll see this in the extraterrestrial landscape, gravity anomalies, and much more. Oh, uh, uh, that's cool. Oh, that looks fun. Oh, I can't wait to find secrets using that. Uh, there's gotta be secrets around those bubbles. Varun Kai is located in the Kavnik system. Does anyone know if that planet we have it or the city in right now in the game? Or the system is not there right now? And it's not the friendliest environment. They believed the Great Serpent led them to Varun Kai and their whole purpose in being here is to await its return. You have no concept of what the Great Serpent demands of us. All must serve. It's a dangerous planet, and a lot of the people have retreated to Dazra in order to survive and protect their culture and their way of life. Now you'll find areas of the planet that were abandoned and have since been taken over by Zealots, Spacers, and Crimson Fleet. And humans aren't the only dangers in the badlands of the planet. With the line between reality and the vortex breaking down, creatures from the other side can slip through, like the vortex horror. When you disturb the barrier between our world and theirs, they can sense it, creating these honestly terrifying ambush scenarios. Nah, that's going to be a lot of that, I guess. In the base game, there's a lot of focus around ranged gun combat. You can engage in a firefight from way in the distance. In shattered space, we're closing that distance. Space is scary. Part of getting that across is amping up the aggression and the chaos of combat. Is that a new gun? That's a new gun. Like the micro gun, but we shooting, I don't know, plasma, laser? That looks new. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's a good gun. As you explore the city of Dazra and the surrounding planet, you'll learn the truth of what happened 
become entangled in the political feud between the minor houses and ultimately decide the fate of House Varun, a fate that could affect the rest of the settled systems. We can restore the intended order of things. Thank you for joining us for a closer look at Shattered Space. We worked hard to make this a journey you won't forget. We're incredibly grateful for your support and passion. Stay tuned for more updates as we head toward launch on September 30th. All right, I'm excited. I don't know about you guys, but I am excited. Not so much about the jump scares. I'm not a big fan of that kind of things, but uh, I am pretty excited for the new expansion, which by the way, if you have the premium edition, it is free. But if you didn't get that one, it looks like it's $29.99 to get the expansion. Looks like there is new armor for the Varun Zealots. Let me go back to that one jump scare scene that kind of looks like let me see if I can get back right here. Let me pause it. Right, this looks like a that looks like a brand new suit, a space suit for for the Varuns. Uh, I can't wait to see what else is new. We know that there is a new enemy space suit. We have some new guns that we've seen. Uh, hopefully. It's a few not just one gun uh there were a couple of guns that i couldn't tell if they were new or not but i am excited i am excited for the for the entire expansion all right that is it i hope you guys are excited as well save the date september 30th i will be making videos of course otherwise enjoy the game have fun and i'll see you all in the next video